Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Marquisha Denise here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Whether you're new here, just stopping by, you see my video in passing, or whatever may have you. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn your post notification bells so you're notified every time I post a new video. And yeah, we love to have you join the family. So you guys, a couple of updates for one. Now, today's video, first of all, is going to be my three-week update on my way. But before we even start off, I do want to let you guys know that I have a logo coming out soon for my YouTube channel with the logo in my name. And I'll be revealing that as soon as my cousin is done um, creating that. I'm also going to put his information and everything so that you can book him for a logo if that's something that you want to do. He also makes logos for um, t-shirts. He made, He's a logo maker. He's a cartoon artist. Whatever you want. Whatever it may have. Bitch. Whatever you want to call it. I'll leave his Instagram in the link in my bio, okay? I mean, the link in the description. Yeah. Yeah, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, so that's why I'm going to be all over the place. I'm trying to get situated with my work schedule because I work at 6 at night. Get off at 4 in the morning. Then try to have to go to sleep. And try to make YouTube videos to get content out before I have to go back to work. So, I'm going to be all over the place. Now, what you all have been waiting for. I see y'all like that video of me being in pain, okay? But, here is is my update some tips basically and basically uh if i think if i think i'm gonna go back so if that's something you're interested in you want to see then keep watching if not you can exit you can go to the left to the left okay so yeah i got my wax my very first wax which was very painful to me which you all seen i got that on december 23rd and it is nearing up to Tomorrow will be three weeks since I got that wax. So, I'm just basically explaining to y'all what's going on. So, I don't know if y'all remember in the video, but Jessica did tell me to make sure I exfoliate. So, I have been exfoliating. I actually bought some exfoliant from them. I've been using this body polish here. So, basically, this is like a sugar scrub. I've been using it to exfoliate. It's in the scent Pixie. It smells so good. It smells so good. And a little bit goes a long way. Y'all, this really smells so good. But anyway, I've been using that to exfoliate. So what I can say is, first of all, yes, it was painful. But it's different for everyone. My pain tolerance may be completely different from yours. So if you're looking or you want to go get a wax, girl, go get it. If that's something you want to do, do it, girl. Don't let my experience stop you. Everybody's experience is different. It may not be as painful for you. It may be as painful for you. You never know. But in order to say, oh, or I like it or I didn't like it. You have to try it. So just honestly, I didn't like it, but I'm going back because at the end of the day, I don't went through all that pain. I'm going back. Period. I'm going back next week. And if y'all want, I'll take y'all with me. You let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see again. You know, you can get my how I feel about it the second time. But I'm going back. Uh, the ha my hair is so awkward. Oh my gosh, so awkward to talk about because y'all know what hair I'm talking about. And it's just like, I can't be like, yeah, I'm talking about the hair on my head. Like, you know what hair I'm talking about. So it's like, uh. the hair has started growing back. Um, But this is around the time she said it'll be starting to grow back around the three week mark. I'm a little nervous that when I go back, it's not gonna be growing back enough, but I still want that wax because girl, I'm not waiting like I did last time. So first, tip girl do not go in there like i did i was told not to shave for a couple of weeks before i went in so i waited now let me tell you something it depends on what type of hair you have i am a hairy human being I, my hair grow back in 10 minutes whether it be leg hair arm hair hair <laughs> It grow back in 10 minutes, like 10 minutes after shaving. So, me waiting two weeks, it's like Chewbacca. <laughs> 
it's like Chewbacca see it's like it grows back fast like all my hair on my body grow back fast I ain't even gonna say I waited two weeks though I think I waited like three or four weeks to go I should have did two weeks but I did like three or four weeks and as you can see that's why I was in so much pain so I can't say that I feel like if I didn't have as much hair I wouldn't have been in that much pain but you live and you learn don't go in like Chewbacca like don't do that don't be having done king issues in your lady parts like don't do that trim it down a little bit or wait two to three weeks until you get a considerably considerably is a word but I was not using that correctly wait until you get enough where you know like hey the wax can grip it tip number two I would definitely recommend taking maybe an ibuprofen or some type of pain sedative before going uh, I feel like that would have helped me I didn't but they do tell you when you book your appointment to take like an ibuprofen or some type of pain medicine uh like 30 to 40 minutes coming in I think it helps a little bit I didn't take it so I can't tell you but maybe if I had took it it wouldn't have it still would have been painful period like nothing unless you can numb that unless you can numb that you're gonna feel that you're gonna feel them ripping them hairs out Purr. so tip number three I would definitely recommend doing your research on wherever you're going as well as ask questions like I uh, didn't really have to ask questions just because she really explained everything to me she explained to me the type of wax that they were using she explained to me that was tea tree based wax she explained to me everything she was doing before she did it after she did it she also told me to make sure that I breathed after every snatch which you should breathe after every snatch girl because you will really be I don't know. You, 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 when when they go to snatching the hair, your first reaction is to hold your breath. Don't hold your breath, girl. Just breathe. It don't make it no better, but just breathe. So every snatch of hair, every pull, every tug, every pluck, breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. If anything is making you uncomfortable, please let your waxer know. They tell you that. If anything is making you uncomfortable, let them know. You want to let them know. If you don't let them know, girl, then it's just like, obviously, you ain't uncomfortable. If you're not used to someone being in that area, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. It was a little bit uncomfortable for me, but it's all about how you react with your waxer. My J Jessica, she's talked me through everything um she talked to me because i'm pretty sure she knows like that's awkward anybody you don't know being in your lady area is awkward so just talk so yeah um basically the hair has started growing back a little bit it's like it's like this though it's like my arm hair can y'all see that it's not it's very much thinner than it usually is and it's coming back in certain places in certain places it's not coming back at all do i feel like i go back definitely i'm definitely gonna go back probably next week but basically just my number one tip would to be ask questions and just breathe honestly well my most important tips not number one my most important tips would be to ask questions and to breathe and if you're feeling uncomfortable with anything to let them know because you have to let them know if you're uncomfortable they're not doing it to make you uncomfortable obviously you know what I'm saying you made the decision to go and they want to make sure that you are comfortable but just like she said the hair does start, start growing back within um three weeks let me, let me say something I didn't exfoliate much I don't exfoliate much I just have a pretty even skin tone if you don't have a pretty skin even skin tone or whatever uh skin not even skin tone pretty even skin as far as you have dark spots so you have uh you're prone to ingrown hairs or even um hair bumps whatever whatever may have you girl if you're prone to that you gotta exfoliate keep that extra layer of skin off your body okay exfoliate am I saying right uh, extra layer of skin I don't know don't hold it against me I'm not a dermatologist uh, but you do want to exfoliate if they tell you to exfoliate exfoliate and honestly you just got to stick with it so i'm definitely going to go back i'll definitely record that just so y'all see if it's the same or if it's any much different i feel like it's probably going to be a little bit different because i know what to expect now and i'm a little comfortable with my waxer so i don't know guys i just wanted to give y'all an update on what's going on i can say i am very much impressed and i am very much satisfied with my wax simply because of how slow the hair is coming back in it's about to be four weeks and y'all sus is still pretty much bald she just got some whiskers that's it but i'm okay with that because i'm gonna get them gone <laughs> before they eight i get them gone what is the honey me i'm about to get them gone period okay and if you enjoyed the 
in the Atlanta area. I ain't gonna say the Atlanta area because Gora, it's a lot of waxing places in Atlanta. Fabron, Noonan, whatever, Fayetteville, Sharpsburg, that area. Go get your wax, girl. Go to Lament Beauty. Ask for Jessica or ask for Lala and tell them I sent you. And I promise you, you'll have a great experience. My experience with the wax was terrible. But just could made it better. Just the hospitality made it better. Your experience could be different. It may not hurt you. You it, it may be nothing to you, or it may be something to you. You never know. But you'll never know until you actually go and get a wax yourself. Now, if you want to know who done my lashes, it was Shannon, of course. I'll be sure to leave Shannon's info in the link in the description. In the description box, I'll be sure to leave Lament Beauty, Jessica's info in the description box. I'll be sure to leave my cousin's information in the description box as well. So, you guys can um get at him about that, um, about those logos and stuff. That's just, 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 just stay tuned. Y'all need to let me know what y'all want to see, like, because honestly, I'm trying. But I'm trying to work and trying to do YouTube at the same time. And I need y'all help a little bit with the YouTube. Like, y'all got to tell me what you want to see, because. Damn, a bitch is running out of idea, okay? Let me know something. I got a truth or drink coming up soon. And, yeah. I also got a trip coming up that I will be vlogging the entire thing. You guys, y'all gotta let me know something, honestly. I'm trying to put out content. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. But, yeah, you guys, once again, my name is Marquis Shanice. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you're not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn your post notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. And go tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, to subscribe to my channel. And we out. Purr.